Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about Eden Lake and this has been so requested so I'm glad we're finally doing this video because I get comments all the time to watch this movie. Also something that's been kind of requested by a bunch of you that you kind of miss are spoilers. I used to talk about, oh my light just went off, that was weird. I used to talk about spoilers every review and I would give you guys a heads up before I cut to and I stopped doing that because I felt like maybe a bunch of you weren't like staying to the end or like watching that part you were only staying for the review but a lot of you tell me that you watch the movie first and then come and watch my review on it so you pretty much already know um, so I'm gonna go back to doing that because so many of you want me to so I will give you guys a warning before any time I go into spoilers or anything like that just so you know if you haven't watched it yet um, to be aware that I'm going to talk about the ending and stuff like that. So for Eden Lake, it is, the main storyline is about a couple who are going on this like romantic kind of vacation and he has plans to propose to her. They end up going to this like quarry, quarry, and when they get there it's super beautiful and they like chill by the lake and my window's open so there's like loud noises happening that's why i'm sorry so while we're while they're there there are this like group of kids like down the beach a little bit and they're playing really loud music and she's like trying to nap and their dog runs over and starts barking in her face so they're just being really disruptive to their like nice vacation so the boyfriend goes over and asks them can you turn the music down you're kind of like freaking out my girlfriend over there and they are just really really rude and say what can't hear you like no i'm not gonna do that like just being really really rude it escalates even further when they are on the beach again and they realize their beach bag goes missing and it has the keys to their car in it so he goes to where they parked the car and the car is gone so they have stolen the car they find the teens where they are and they he confronts them and says hey yo give me my keys back i want my keys and then it escalates they get into like a brawl and the dog dies <laughs> he accidents accidentally slits the dog's throat or something like that or like stabs the dog and the dog ends up dying so that is where the grudge happens from the teens to this couple because it all takes place of the teens kind of hunting this couple down to torture and kill or whatever so that's the main storyline I'm gonna give you my thoughts first on this movie and then we'll get into like the spoilers and the ending and things like that and other things that I liked that I can't talk about because it'll spoil the movie so first thing I really wasn't impressed by like the acting I, I think the acting was pretty bad but towards like the middle to the end I really didn't mind it so much like I still got really into it and this was definitely a movie that kept my attention I was just really curious on where it was gonna go and it almost reminded me of funny games I have seen that by the way a lot of you request me to review that if you want to review please let me know but it does remind me of funny games a little bit just kind of like these people torturing these people for no reason at all um, I mean, I guess you could say they killed the dog, but it was an accident, um, and, oh my god. So it was really good, in my opinion, and I didn't think I was gonna like it about halfway through. I was like, oh, this is kind of like any other kind of movie to me. Then, it, it was different than other films, I will say that. Um, I'll talk about why when I go into spoilers, but I did really like it because it was different. It's definitely a realistic movie, like it felt real. Um, and that, you know, is a scary part of it. Although these kind of movies don't scare me, like funny games, they don't really bother me. Um, oh, this one did have some like moments where I was like really disturbed, but generally these movies don't get to me. I don't know why, because this is like more realistic than the supernatural films, which are my favorite. I don't know. But if the things like this movie, like funny games or anything like that, or like home invasion movies scare you, then this will definitely get to you. It definitely is disturbing in that regard, so I would recommend it for that reason. So now we're going to get on to the ending and other things that I liked about it as the story progresses. So if you don't want any spoilers, then tune out now or go watch it and then come back and finish my review. My favorite thing about this movie, hands down, was the ending because it was so messed up. It was so sad. I'm just going to come out and say it does not end well for anybody. It's very much like a Stephen King ending in my opinion and I love those kind of endings where they end horrible for the protagonist. I don't know why, I just, I think because I'm morbid in a way and whenever I would write stories myself, 
it always ends really shitty like that. So that, the ending in itself redeemed this movie, although it wasn't like horrible throughout. I, I thought for sure it was gonna end happy because of how much they like showed their like relationship and being happy and stuff like that. I thought for sure that at least one of them was gonna survive. And you think that a couple times when she's like getting away, but it was so funny to me because she would, she like got out, she got to the road and there was a car and she was like, please help me. She gets in the car, realizes the driver is the brother of the guy who just killed her boyfriend. It was hilarious to me. She just keeps getting in worse and worse situations. And yes, her boyfriend does die and his death is very sad and tragic. And that part was pretty realistic just because of him like trembling because he was bleeding to death. And like them torturing him was really like sad because they would shove a knife in his mouth and just like juggle it around. And that was really disturbing. There was also a really disturbing scene where there was this kid who they saw in the beginning of the film and they tried to talk to him and he had no part, no, he wasn't gonna talk to them. And then looked like he was gonna help her get out. And he's like, my mom's gonna pick me up, I'll just take you. And he actually takes her to the teens. So then they try to get him to light the couple on fire because they end up taping her or like strapping her down and stuff like that and he can't do it so they light him on fire. That part was so horrifying to me. They pour gasoline on him and lit his head on fire. So the ending, so she gets away again, she steals the car or whatever, she goes to this house and the house ends up being the family of the teens. So she realizes who these people are, she locks herself in the bathroom, the kids come home and then everyone's mad at her because she killed one of the teens earlier on. Pretty much ends with her being taken into the bathroom by three men and you kind of have to assume what happens after that thank god they don't show anything but in my mind they rape her and she dies and that's how it ends great story right <laughs> but i honestly love these kind of endings it was okay i was rooting for her earlier on and then for some reason when i saw the ending i was like that cannot be how it ends oh my god they can't do that and they did it they weren't afraid they weren't afraid to make it a horrifying ending and i love when movies aren't afraid to do that so the ending definitely I loved it. If all that does sound appealing to you, uh, definitely check this movie out. It was a lot better than I expected and not really what I expected. I knew the plot before I went into it, but I did not think it was going to turn like that and make it so sad and I do really like that. So if you like those kind of movies where they end horrible, like, you know, The Mist kind of thing check it out. So please leave some more movie requests for what you want me to review next and let me know if you want to review on funny games. I've kind of been into in the mood to watch that again so I'd probably watch that again before doing a review but it has been requested so maybe I'll just go ahead and do it. So leave some feedback down below. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. There's something that we're not seeing. You did this. Open the door! There's nowhere to go! Where is he? Oh, yes.